A Good Looking Guy is a song that I wanted to base on the Beatles number one singles from 1963 to 64. I wanted the song to be fast with some guitar riff and solo in the middle. A melody full of energy. Today I'm gonna try to be a good looking guy with a smile. I'd like to mention uh, one curiosity that my work was based on. Uh, the majority of the Beatles singles, as well as other songs from the early era, started uh, with a refrain with a minor chord. For example, she loves you. E minor. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next one. Can buy me love. E minor again. Can buy me love. Love. Uh, help. Uh, B minor. Sharp minor. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow. I'll miss you. And so on. Today I'm gonna try to be a good looking guy with a smile. And Ringo also didn't start playing a classic drum rhythm straight away in some songs, but he played the floor tom and snare. I include this in a good looking guy as well. This is another interesting element uh, of the Beatles from She Loves You, which ends with a sixth chord. Uh, two guitars play the same chord, but in a different position. song based on the Revolver album. It starts with a riff of a double track guitar, something like the Beatles song and your bird can sing. I like the guitar parts in the refrain. And also the lovely solo played through the fuzz effect based on the Beatles song Taxman. I really enjoyed singing the vocals that are in the chorus. Many vocal tracks are doubled up and some are sang in, in falsetto, like the song Paperback Writer. It's not like before, it's not like before, it moves fine, but it's not like before. Uh, 
There is also a nice bass line. Overall, it's one of my favorite songs from the album. I got a question, girl. I Can Change was the first song I wrote in the style of the Beatles. From the beginning I intentionally based it on the Please Please Me album. I realized that the Beatles used dominant 7 chords a lot and weren't afraid to twist a chord sometimes to make it completely different from the basic scale. For the opening riff I used a harmonica together with octaves played on the guitar, just like John Lennon and George Harrison used to do. During mixing I really brought out the room microphones. When the Beatles uh, were recording this album, uh, they had room microphones that recorded the wall band from a distance of an audience. It made uh, the record seem like a live performance. This song is based on the With The Beatles album. There are two tracks of acoustic guitar in this song. One is connected through the combo and the other one in a classic way recorded through a microphone. I always imagined which member of the Beatles would play certain parts and whether they would sing. So I called it Lennon's guitar or Harrison's guitar. When I was recording Lennon's guitar, I often used uh, the same technique as Lennon did when he was recording songs during this era. Uh, together with Paul they sang into a microphone facing each other, with another microphone slightly lower recording uh, John's acoustic guitar. So a little bit of the acoustic uh, also penetrate into the vocal microphone. I didn't sing live, so I just mix it in with the main vocal. The song asked for having the piano included, based on the Not a Second Time song. The piano solo, which plays a melody in the tones, uh, plus adding chords into the refrain, gave the song something more.
another song based on the With the Beatles album. For the second time, this song uses an acoustic guitar connected through the combo. Uh, this time not as a lead guitar, but as a backing guitar. The lead guitar is electric. There is an element that the Beatles used a lot. When John sang a certain phrase and George with Paul filled in as a duet or repeated the given phrase. Every time you get me, you get me. Every time you have me, you have me. Every time your smile gives me more love. Every time, every time more love. I really like the vocal. When you touch me, you spin me round. When you touch me, you spin me round. Ooh, a bum, bum, ooh, a bum, bum. When you touch me, you shut me out. Out of the sky, out of the sky. I came up with it uh, during the recording of the vocals. Uh, this was sang a lot in the 50s rock and rolls and the Beatles really like using these things. You turn me on. The song is based on the For Sale and Help albums. It's uh, supported by three acoustic guitars. A nylon guitar. Twelve-string acoustic guitar, and John Lennon signature acoustic guitar. You can hear something similar in the song You've Got to Hide Your Love Away from the album Help. I also used my volume pedal uh, for the guitar's special parts, similar uh, to what George Harrison played in the song Yes It Is. The triple vocals that are throughout the whole song I enjoyed the most. Summertime is here again, you turn me on Your baby in the place, I feel the warm Oh now, now, now I need winter snow You turn me on more and more You never let me down The Girl I Really Need is a song based on the Hard Day's Night album. The riff that's in the I Can Chain song was initially supposed to be in this song. It fitted better in I Can Change, so I wrote another one with the sound of a 12 string Rickenbacker guitar that George Harrison started using in the very album A Hard Day's Night. The arrangement of this song was inspired by the song And I Love Her. I used djembe, claves, maracas and a guitar with nylon strings.
To record the acoustic, I used a microphone setup that was mostly used for John Lennon's acoustic parts during the early era. <laughs> 